Declaration of the Open. Hello everyone uh, and welcome you the, for the last time in Katowice. Oh, I know I'm, I'm, so, I'm also very, very sad, but uh, I want to know if you remember something from the opening ceremony. Uh, we learned something in this day, so uh, maybe uh, for the far, the far day of all this meetings, all the cheatings, all the sessions, you try to use it, because we are learning how to pronounce Katowice. So maybe we'll try to pronounce it again? What do you think? Yeah. Okay, so on the count on three, we all say Katowice. So three, two, one, Katowice. <laughs> ha, amazing. Oh. This was truly, truly amazing, and I'm congratulations for you all. Uh, my name is Jacek Broda. I'm the representative for the Wikimedia Plant Association, and I have the pleasure and so much honor to be the host of this ceremony, ceremony tonight. Uh, so uh, I have, in the start, one little uh, announcement that uh, if in this room are the Wikimedia uh, Pushes Associations, uh, who have these cushies, sweet little cushies, uh, they are gathering here. So you, if you have some cushies, please bring uh, them to the, the honored uh, place on the stage. So, but, uh, no further talk, uh, let's start by inviting the, on the stage Gerion, who will tell us more about the Wikipedia and the music. Give him a big applause. Hello, um, I'm Gerion, and I want to, to speak a little about Wikipedia and music. Most of you already know what you saw on the screen. It's called Listen to Wikipedia. That's on listen.headnote.com. Every appearing dot is a live edit on Wikipedia put into sound. For me, all sound is music. And that is what I would like to talk to you about now. Music is an art form, and music is part of our lives. For 23 years, we as Wikipedians write about music. Music is emotions put into sound. Creating music is a creative process, but we are Wikipedians. We recycle knowledge. We do not create it. We take facts and rearrange those facts. We retell the knowledge of the world in our own words, but we don't invent new knowledge, so the music we write about has already been composed. Music has been part of the movement all the time, and not only in written form or as sound files on commons. Well, I don't know any compositions that have Wikimedia or Wikipedia as its subject. I heard that there are some in Ukraine, for instance, for example, but they are not widely known at least to my knowledge. Uh, still, we are intertwined with music much more than just writing about it. I will give you some examples. On the 22nd of October 2005, the category Songs About Wikipedia was created by user Epic von Trolls on English Wikipedia with the added summary, here are several and other fun stuff is in Wikipedia, notably under Department of Fun. And boy, does this place need some shearing up. It first only contains the entries Hotel Wikipedia, which is Hotel California by the Eagles with new lyrics. I bet mo uh, lots of you know about that song. And a song called Coconut Monkey, based on paperback writer by the Beatles. 
The lyrics of Hotel Wikipedia were uploaded to Meta even much earlier, on the 22nd of August 2004. And Meta as well as has a fitting category which is called humor songs and poems. Music has accompanied our gatherings, our events since the beginning. Well, I only started editing in 2006, first as IP, then with my account in 2007, so I'm a newbie. Uh, that's why I don't, uh, did not follow the movement from the beginning. And I only visit events since 2010. But everything we do is still readable online, with one exception, which was in Wikimania 2006 at Harvard Law School. Of all the Wikimanias, uh, the entire, nothing of that Wikimania exists on the internet. <coughs> so looking at our events, I find our first Wikimania, which as you all know happened in 2005 in Frankfurt, Germany. Uh, Wikimania Mania 2005 had a media competition. One of the categories of this competition was called audio and competitors who were Cat Walsh, Gregory Maxwell and Stephen Dunlop. They uploaded sound files of self-played examples with bassoon, piano, and trombone. Um, Wikimania 6 had, as I was told, the Wikimania Awards and user Marchini provided pieces played in the lo on lute. I don't want to go through all Wikimanias, but there are some music moments that impressed me a lot music-wise that I can still re remember today as if they were yesterday. Attendants might remember different things that stay in their minds. For example, the beach theme for some, like in Haifa or Hong Kong. For me, it is music, and I remember Wikimedia 2014 in London, where conference director Edward Sapiria managed to have interesting and talented bands and musicians all over the venue, like the Lambeth Trio, Horizon Quartet, Owl and Bush Buntu, Michael Baker, Tom Green, Slumberjacks, Power of Two, Baker Hay, and many more. 2016, in Esino Lario, gave us permanent sound objects, country music and dance in the main village square, a silent film accompanied by live music, a theremin concert involving falcons in flight, and a concert by Roberto Pacidalo about the Armenian genocide. In Cape Town 2018, I saw certain Wikipedians that are normally shy and or introverted dancing on stage during a live performance. And I remember an administrator conference in Austria in Salzburg in 2017. Between two sessions, the organizer brought musicians with violins in who played Mozart. Very pleasant. In Yerevan, during wiki events, I have experienced performances with Armenian instruments. I've been talking now about writing, about music, then about contributing files to commons, and about performance at events. Wikipedians have many talents. You can find almost every skill amongst you. For every subject and aspect and skill, we have a specialist, so naturally there are musicians against, amongst us. In 2017, a musician from Hamburg, Lukas Metzger, who we know under the name Gnome, asked Wikipedians to join an orchestra to perform at a German Wikicon. Wikicons are like small Wikimanias. Since 2017, the live music at events in the German-speaking world is provided by Wikipedians and not by rented musicians. I would now like to ask Gnome to the stage. He has a surprise for you. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Gerion. Hello, everyone. Uh, I'm very happy and also quite excited uh, to announce the international debut performance of the Wiki Orchestra. Uh, we decided that we wanted to choose uh, a piece of Polish music to honor our host nation. And when you look at the history of Polish music, there is one name that really stands out. It's the Polish-French pianist and composer Frédéric Chopin, known in French as Frédéric Chopin. Many of his works draw on traditional Polish folk dances, like the Polonaise and the Mazurka. However, during his short life 
in the first half of the 19th century, Chopin composed almost exclusively for solo piano. But we did manage to find an old arrangement of his famous second nocturne in E-flat for chamber orchestra that we then rearranged for our little ensemble. Uh, we tried it out uh, during our first ever rehearsal last night. <laughs> and we hope that you can recognize and enjoy this famous melody. For me personally, uh, playing on this stage tonight is also really special. Uh, I visited Katowice for the first time as a young clarinetist uh, back in 2004. So exactly 20 years ago, I performed in an international youth symphony orchestra in the old Radio Symphony Hall of Katowice. This building has since been replaced with the shiny new building where we will be having our closing party later tonight next door. Uh, so, without further ado, uh, please welcome the Wiki Orchestra to the stage, which consists of Karel and Andrew on the violin. Yuriko <laughs> uh, uh, on the viola, Kerry and Carla on the flute, Janos on the cello, Cormac and Bobby on the bass, uh, Lucas on the solo piano, and Gerion on the guitar under the careful direction of Katrin Krichel. Thank you.
<laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Thank you so much. This was truly lovely and heavenly sound. So thank you very much for your performance. And now uh, we have some awards to give. So I want to uh, invite to the stage a uh, free person. Uh, first will be uh, Magda Gomuka from the Silesian Library. Come on stage. Next. Next will be uh, Eva Zaban from uh, Corfante Institute. Give her applause, give her applause. Uh, and the last but not least, Ada Jakubowska from the Wikimedia Polska. And we want, and we want to give the uh, Salesian Editing Contest Awards. So, stage is yours. Thank you, Asik, for introducing ourselves. Uh, hello, everyone. As a local um, Wikimedian committee, we are happy that you were able to participate um, in uh, Wikimania this year. And we are more than happy that you were able to uh, take part in our editing contest, Silesia, People, Places, Customs. We thought that this competition will, would help us to do the best thing in the world, editing Wikipedia together. Before Ada and Eva uh, announce winners, uh, let me explain briefly uh, the most important information of the contest. First and foremost, the goal was uh, creating and expanding Wikimedia articles um, about our region. During this week, uh, you could write biograms, describe uh, favorite places and customs which you saw here. You are from different parts of the world and you could, you could write articles in Wikipedia languages. And all and all, we are very grateful that we have a very nice souvenir of uh, the Wikimania many articles about Silesia. So, uh, time flies very fast and it's the, the highlight to announce winners. Yes, and so the winners are the first place for Lwowa. Second place is for Carol739. The third place is for Makutos. Next place is for Ter Teukros. The next one for Gover. Then is Gabriel Free. And then Darafs. <laughs> Last prize is for Oana United. Congratulations again to all our winners. We prepared awards for you and they are waiting near on the left of on the stage. So after the uh, closing ceremony, we invite you to come us and we will give you uh, some awards. Thank you again. And great applause for all the winners. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much and uh, big congratulations to all the winners. 
And I think we can just uh, give the big, big applause to all the uh, participants in all the contests, because in the Wikimedia movement we have a lot of contests, editing contests, photography contests, and this, every which of them is very important and it's great, the knowledge. So I think we can just give them much, much love and applause for every uh, contest, con contest participants. So. I hope that we'll hear it. Uh, and now I want to invite to the stage uh, Deb Tankseli uh, from the Wikimedia Foundation. Uh, she will give the coolest and most awesome uh, award uh, today evening. This will be the uh, award from the coolest tool. So invite Deb Tankseli. Sorry. I know that I will mispronounce someone. So, <laughs> Deb Tankersley. Hello, all. This is uh, really fun to be up here. So, um, coolest tool award. So, lots of things here. I'll try to get through it quick because we've got some videos to look at. Um, the work of open source technology as part of the Wikimedia movement is vast, right? It's huge, we all know this. From hosting Wikipedia projects to creating edit checking artificial intelligence to making sharing and cataloging items like data and images and videos, just making it easier. Through the use of open source technology, we can design and build the backend code that powers our Wikimedia projects and makes sharing free knowledge very much possible, and it's always being updated. So as you might know, our Wiki communities across the globe have very diverse technical needs. Um, so community volunteer developers and foundation technologists collaborate to experiment and generate new ideas for local and global solutions. Their work is so key for all of our projects and then in the broader Wikimedia movement. These tools enhance our software by addressing specific use cases while also making it uh, easier to maintain and then curate that contest. And this is where the coolest tool developer uh, award comes into play, right? So we're here to celebrate them. And these are only just a few. So coolest tool award was first created in 2019 and given out in person in Stockholm. Um, today is the only time, the second time now, that we've ever given it out in person. Thanks, COVID. So this year, our categories um, are the ones that you see on the screen here. But our award categories can be different each year. Um, but these are the ones that we did this time. Um, all of our Coolest Tool Awards have short videos that have been created by the Coolest Tool Academy, which we'll recognize in here a little bit. And they're showcasing what makes these tools really, really cool. And we'll show just a few of them here just because, you know, time constraints and such. Um, the full list of winners are already on Meta. Um, so the rest of the world found out before you did, but that's OK. Um, let's dig in. The first one is for the Quality Award. Um, the Web 2 Sit is basically an award that, um, sorry, the Quality Award is a tool that aims to improve quality content. Um, this particular tool, Web 2 Sit, complements citation results returned by Cytoid. Basically, where Cytoid stops, Web 2 Sit begins. Um, we, it, basically, the tool extracts citation metadata from web sources using collaboratively defined configurations, which is a really tongue twister. Um, but it was also called a hidden gem. Let's go ahead and watch a video. Koto. Hello, everybody. My name is Tamsin. Uh, you might know me by my editor name, Dr. Thneed, and I am a Wikidata and Wikipedia editor in Dunedin, in New Zealand, where it is currently spring. And I'm excited to talk to you today about the Web2Sit tool, which is a tool for collaborative citations on Wikipedia. Let me show you how it works. So let's say I want to cite this news article about our Prime Minister on Wikipedia. I would copy the URL, go to Wikipedia, and paste that into the Citoid tool to create my citation. And you'll see that Citoid is going to suggest something that isn't quite perfect. Um, here is the Citoid suggestion, and it wants to use the website template for this news article. Now, I would prefer it use the news article template. So 
I could fix that manually myself for this citation, but then I'll need to fix it for every citation individually from the spin-off or of this article. Um, what the web 2 sit tool allows is for one technically competent editor to fix that for everybody. So you can see below here, the web 2 sit suggestion is using the news article template because one editor has gone in and said, every article on this particular domain is likely to be a news article, please use the news article template. And so web 2 sit will always suggest that now. And if Cytoid wasn't picking up the title or it wasn't picking up the author, you would also be able to tell it where to find that information. And it will fix it for every article from that domain or every web 2 sit user. And that's what I think makes this such a cool tool. The other thing that makes it a cool tool is it has great documentation. So here is the meta page for web 2 sit. Uh, it shows you at the top here uh, the code that you can paste into your common JS if you want to be a web 2 sit user and just benefit from these improved citations. But further down, if you want to be one of those people who fixes citations for other people, there are some great resources, including video explainers, recordings of workshops, um, documentation in English and Spanish, because this is a multilingual tool. So thank you very much to the developer, Diego de la Herra and his team, and congratulations on the award. Pretty cool, huh? All right. Next ad, uh, category, Editor Award. This went to Catalot. And you can see the names up on there. So quite a few of them. And the Editor Award is basically a tool that supports editing. So it's kind of self-explanatory. So it is a gadget, a JavaScript gadget that helps with moving, renaming, I'm sorry, moving, removing, and adding files or subcategories between, from, and to different categories. But it also makes it so much easier and faster than doing it all manually and doesn't want an extra you know, way to do things faster and better. Pretty cool, huh? Our next tool, uh, the Experience Award in Credit LE. This, uh, the Experience Award is for creating tools that are intuitive and easy to use. Um, this particular tool helps to analyze property coverage of groups of Wikidata items using the Sparkled, uh, Sparkle powered by OnWiki dashboards that update automatically. Some of the quotes of the nominations that came through was a fantastic resource and a launch pad for collaborative efforts. Let's go and watch another video. Hello to everyone at Wikimania. My name is Trisha. I am a technical writer at the Wikimedia Foundation, and I'm very excited to present an award to the integrality tool that was created by user Jean Frederic or Jean Fred. This tool is really cool because it lets you create a dashboard on a wiki page. Here is an example that shows the coverage for properties for Wikidata items that you can group together in custom ways. So this tool uses Sparkle queries, but you configure it through a template, and that makes it really easy for non-Sparkle experts to view and track and improve the coverage of properties for items that they care about on Wikidata. Even cooler, a bot automatically updates the dashboard for you. I looked around at some examples of ways that people are using this tool and found lots of really cool stuff. Here is an example dashboard about Australian beaches from Wikiproject Australia. There is another one I found for Wikiproject Applied Arts where they're using it to track the property coverage for textiles and even one for dams from Wiki Project India. This tool has really nice documentation, both for the technical implementation on Wikitech and for users on Wikidata. And overall, it's very easy to use and is clearly having an impact for many people. So for that reason, félicitations Jean-Fred, congratulations. And thank you to you and all the contributors for this awesome tool.
It's a really cool tool. All right, let's talk about this next one. This is the Tiny Award. Basically, the Tiny Award is given to tools that are just really small things or just simply do something very well. And this year, we picked Wikidata Walkabout. The Wikidata Walkabout tool is a drill down browser interface that can be used for any installation of Wikibase, including Wikidata. Um, some of the quotes there are, are listed here, that they were listed as awesome. And it's nice that someone finally built something like this. So that's really cool, huh? Our next award carry is called the Newcomer. These are basically given to tools that are new or created by new developers. And this year, we picked Viewit. So Super Hamster, Jamie, and Dominic. <laughs> the Viewit tool enriches wiki content with related images derived from structured data. It makes it easy to find and add relevant media to an article. And it's not just for Wikipedia. It's available on all wikis. Um, currently, as of about yesterday, I believe, when they gave their um, session, uh, it's currently in 25 languages, has well over 5,000 edits on Wikidata, and uh, the tool has been called a very useful tool and also very powerful. <laughs> and this is another uh, slide for it. Sorry, I forgot to do this one. So, um, but yeah. The next one, honorable mention to CampWiz, and I've got the um, authors on there. So let's find out more. CampWiz helps our movement. In this case, Wiki loves folklore, which is in this by ma helping to manage the campaigns in real time. Um, some of the people who talked about it said it's basically a powerful toolkit, and it's also a one-stop solution to host feminism and folklore uh, campaigns. So this is something that, again, brand new, um, new tools, and it's something that uh, we thought was really worth an honorable mention. So. Clap your hands for them. And for the big award, this is part of our logo, the Egg Beater Award, right? So the Egg Beater Award is for a tool that's been in use for many, many years. Um, and for this year, our choice is ISA tool. Sorry. There's a couple different ways to just pronounce it. And this is just a selection of some of the, um, the creators, the developers, and the project managers from like the first iteration and part of the second one. But there's literally like 30 more people that worked on this tool. So it's, it's been fantastic. Um, it was really originally developed as a collaboration between Wiki in Africa, Histropedia, and the Structured Data on Commons project. Um, further development that I haven't listed people here was supported by Wikimedia Sweden, Switch, and the Bern University of Applied Sciences in Switzerland. This is a tool that's used to add structured data to files on Commons in a fun and easy way. With ESA, you can choose a predefined set of images on Commons and then ask contributors to tag those with multilingual structured metadata during edit-thons and other campaigns. So this is a really good thing just to bring up. You're doing a next hackathon, you're doing next edit-a-thon, you're like, let's use this tool. This makes it easier. So round of applause, please. And this is it. So congratulations to all of our coolest tool winners. If we can get some lights possibly, and then everyone who's on the Academy and the winners from this year, if you're here in the audience, please go ahead and stand up and get another round of applause. Thank you. Thank you very much, Deb, uh, and congratulations to all the winners. Uh, and now I want to uh, invite the stage and introduce Rosie and Victoria, uh, that will be presented the Best Poster Award. Hi, How's everyone doing? I'm Rosie Stevenson, good night and I am the lead for the poster session, Wikimania 2024. Hello, I am Victoria Doronina, a member of the poster session committee, and it was my idea to create a Wikimania poster award program. So you know who to talk to if you didn't win. We are here to celebrate for the first time ever the posters and poster creators for Wikimania. Let's go. 
So we had 36 posters printed out. We had three criteria for judge, judges. We had four jury members, and we have three categories. Content quality, most beautiful, and the best overall poster. And now, for the best content quality poster, the winner is... Wikimedia Czech Republic 2023 Programs and Partnership. Also, Clara Joklova, VMCZ. We'll Congratulations. You, yeah, we'll give you your prize later. Should I, should I go now? <laughs> yes. Some last minute changes. But thank you to all of my colleagues who uh, prepared the poster with me. Thanks. You're welcome. And now, the winner of the most beautiful poster is... Rika loves monuments in Ukraine. Using special categories to build partnership and attract unique content. I want uh, to say thank you to the amazing designer of this poster, who is Victoria Wankiv, and to the person who actually brought the idea of this poster is uh, user Antonana, so thank you so much. Uh, okay, the creators are not here, but we will give Darina the prize. Thank you, it's good. <laughs> I'm happy. Congratulations. <laughs> and now the moment you've been waiting for. The best poster, Wikimania, 2024. Paris Art Museum Miami and Wikimedia Project expanding artist visibility and knowledge access. Also, Michaela Blanc. She's not with us today, fortunately, or unfortunately, uh, hopefully she is watching us on uh, YouTube. She will get an award too. Okay. Uh, you can learn more about the Wikimania poster session and check out all the posters at the links below. Thank you to all the Wikimania 2024 poster creators. Thank you for creativity, inspiration, and sharing of free knowledge. Woo! Thank you very much, Rosie and Victoria. And now I uh, not know if you notice that it's something extra today in our room. Like you can see in my right, I think this will be your left side, we have something over there. Uh, hi everyone, um, my name is Barbara or C. Barbara. Uh, and I'm here with Gotek Resuje, which means in English, Gotek Draws. Um, many of you have noticed her drawing since Wednesday, she's been here with us. And uh, many of you have been taking uh, photos next to, her, next to her drawing. So I would like to ask you, uh, how was it for you being here with us since Wednesday? And please walk us through this beautiful painting. Um, first of all, Thank you for having me here. It was such a pleasure and joy to um, be actually a little bit of part of this event. Um, and I guess I know a lot of you after these few days because I know this is quite catchy. So a lot of, uh, many of you came um, to me to ask what am I doing and if there can actually add something. And I always said no because this is my work. But I ask you for your 
thoughts and ideas and you share that with me because it's quite impossible to be everywhere for four days. So I actually based on you and your energy and that was my idea because me as a graphic recorder, I have to catch uh, what was during the event, what people were saying and you helped me a lot um, because um, you shared uh, your thoughts with, uh, the thoughts with me and I tried to catch this energy, this amazing energy which you have you all people, you know that, but for me it was something really special. First time I saw so many people with such an energy in one place. And I guess I caught it for you, like this kind of energy which you have. I hope <laughs> that you, you love it. <laughs> Actually, I know that you love it because many of you told me that. <laughs> Do you have a favorite thing that you draw? You know, I am from here, from Poland, so I wanted to add a little bit of Polish things. But actually, uh, many of you shared that Polish uh, or also accent with me. So, of course, there is Pieruk, Pierogi, you know Pierogi, I guess, and Polish orchestra. And um, my superpower, I would say, as a graphic recorder is to draw also people. And I know that many of you found themselves here and that makes uh, that, that made you very happy. So if someone wants to still be caught there or maybe found herself there or himself there, it's still possible because I have a little bit blank spots. Well, based on everything what you said, I see that you enjoyed your time with us. And now looking back, if you were asked now again, would you join this kind of event? What would you say? I would say I would book a massage like yesterday evening just to be in a bad shape today <laughs> after so many days of drawing. But I used to be in Nairobi two years ago and I really enjoyed that travel. It was, I was there as a tourist, so I just want to share with some of you this <laughs> thought that, you know, I still can come back there and um, maybe do more drawings next year. <laughs> Uh, thank you. Thank you. This was amazing. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I don't know if I can do this with two mics, but it's a time for the next round of Wiki Orchestra. Hello again. You probably also uh, have been enjoying that this Wikimania uh, has been full of music which is only fitting because Katowice was officially recognized by the UNESCO as a city of music in 2015. And for our second piece, we wanted to draw from the inspiring performances of the Silesian Miners Band at the start of the opening ceremony and from the folk dance group that joined us all the way from Warsaw on Thursday. And if you listen closely during the opening ceremony, you will recognize the melody that we are about to play because they also included it in their selection. It is a traditional folk song from Silesia about a young, about a young miner called Karlik, or Charlie in English. Let me quickly tell you the story that is told in the song. It is about a group of townspeople that see Karlik walking down the street and they ask him what he has uh, in his basket. And he responds that he's carrying pigeons in it. But most importantly, he has his hammer with him, which of course he needs as a proper Silesian coal miner. And the townspeople then press on to ask what Karlik did the night before. And he then boasts that he went dancing in the town of Ribnik, which is just a south, an hour south of Katowice. And it would not be a proper folk song if it did not end with Karlik revealing that he may have stolen a kiss from a girl at the dance. And because the next piece is a folk song, uh, our violinist will be switching from violin to accordion. We will also be bringing in Katie on the ukulele and Ivan on the bass. <laughs> and most importantly, the Wiki Orchestra will be joined by our amazing singers Lea and Katrin as townspeople and Luca, Pierre-Yves and Ignacio as Karlik who have managed to prepare the original Polish lyrics with us, for, to sing with us today.
<laughs> okay, so give the again the big applause for our Wiki Orchestra. Yeah. <laughs> After the pre performance, I think that the Polish mind bands have a strong competition <laughs> incoming. Uh, so, thank you very much, and now I want to welcome on the stage the CEO of the Wikimedia Foundation, the one and only Mariana Iskander. I feel like this music calls for another rap. But unfortunately, carell has been very busy playing not only one, but two instruments in the orchestra. I mean, there's no greater experience of being in this mission together than that. Talented individuals who come together and make harmony in a very Wikimedian way. And actually, for me, that has been the magic of the last few days since the opening ceremony. We have 140 countries. Half of you are here for your first Wikimania. And at last count, we have had 1,000 online and virtual participants, which has been incredible. I am looking forward to what next year holds in Nairobi, and we'll hear more about that shortly. I mostly wanted to express gratitude for those of you who took up the offer to use Wikimania as a place that we can demonstrate our culture, our values, the pillars that hold this community together. I talked about it in the opening, and we experimented with the stickers always assuming good faith in others, engaging with respect and civility, talking through disagreements, there was a lot of that here, having each other's backs, and expressing appreciation. And so I'd like to do some of that now in our closing. There are many groups and individuals to thank as we close out Wikimania. Core, that includes the core organizing team, the Wikimania extended organizing team, Wikimedia Poland, the steering committee, the movement communications team, everyone who pitched in behind the scenes, the production team, the partners who joined us, the venue, I want to express appreciation for the people who prepared our food, who served it, who cleaned, who did all of the things that allowed us to be here in this setting. Thank you. And a huge thank you to the city of Katowice that has welcomed us. And so now for the traditional end of our ceremony, I welcome the core organizing team. Raise your hands, thank you. Last time. Hey, hey, welcome back everyone. At this point we must be burned into your online screens. We hope you had a great time in Katowice. Yeah, um, as you can see, the conference was really low on budget, so we had to reuse some of the slides. Uh. Yeah, but Wojciech, you must admit, um, this has nothing to do with the CE style of making things last minute, right? Some of the slides were ready um, a week ago or so. Sure. So, I'd like to thank you all very much for your energy this week. You have filled Katowice with loves, emotions, and most love, wiki love, as I've seen. Woo! 
Yeah, so it was amazing to have you here and it was a great pleasure to be your host. This week feels like lasted 40 days. We are all very tired, but in a good way. Yes, this is a good feeling. The feeling you get after you finish a great project. And actually some of us were so tired that we saw double at some point during the conference. Like some sort of hallucinations. Yeah, we, 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 we had a lot of fun this week, all we. Yes, and also due to some external issues, we got a lot of funds. Yeah, speaking of fun, let's jump to the good old fashioned statistics. And this both covers um, in-person and online attendance. So in the opening ceremony, I was able to tell you that we are having people from 140 different countries, but no, that's wrong. We got three more countries, so that's a new record. Thank you, everyone. Now we will show you the top five countries by attendance. If your country is named, please stand up and we will give you a great applause. Whoa, na miejscu piątym, number five, Nigeria, with 102 participants. Stand up, people from up, Nigeria, we want to applaud you. Yes, if you're from Nigeria, stand up. If you are from Nigeria and you are at home, stand up. Yeah, now Germany, 132 attendees. The hosts of the first Wikimania in Frankfurt. So I'm opening the podium and on third place, we have India with 162 attendees. On the second spot, we have our hosts and my home country. 182 attendees at Wikimania 2024 are from Poland. <laughs> and first, yep, the US. <laughs> 258. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> We're not giving the full statistics, time constraints. Um, this year we celebrated the collaboration of the Open. This was our idea since we first revealed it back in Singapore in 2023. We were open to external, um, to external partners and we brought them here, as many as we could. Some of them you saw, some of them you didn't see, last minute cancellations, uh, but we are all grateful to them for being part of the collaboration of the Open. We also had many amazing partners doing the program with us open data, open science, open knowledge. It was a true collaboration of the open. Thank you. Thank you. Speaking about the collaboration and the collaboration in the region, many of you have asked us about the branding. You have asked us, why did we choose it? Why is it so amazing? And I would tell you that from this point, I would like to thank Kasia Osterowska, who is known as Basgranina for creating this amazing branding from many, many countries within our region. Actually, uh, Jimmy Wells is here on, on, a, on a phone to me, and he's telling me that we have Kasia with us here today. Can we have her stand up so we can all give her a big round of applause? Thank you. 
I would like to start a round of personal thank yous. Uh, some of the people that we have mentioned, some of the people that we failed to mention, some of the people that we're mentioning for the first time today. Barbara Klen, our indispensable CE coordinator. <laughs> Alek Tarkovsky and Darius Emielniak, the two advisors whose, whose wise words were to the point and who really directed us here. We'd like to thank Anton Prociuk, who unfortunately cannot be here with us, but he was a great uh, help when in preparations of Wikimania. Mm -hmm. Personal omission of mine, I'm sorry to, for not mentioning you as one of the WMF staff, Rachid Sharma. And we'd like to thank uh, Clara Yoklova, a member of the CE Hub Steering Committee and Executive Director of Wikimedia Czech Republic for our whole help. Thank you. Thank you. And for now, the thanks again go to our amazing extended organizing team. Their help was really crucial, and please, let's invite them all to stage. So, Natalia, Marcin, Kirill, Jan, Wojciech. Natalia, please come to the stage and celebrate with us. One more person is joining us. One more, one more. Mentioned during the opening ceremony. It's user to be created. However, Cure has been with us since the very beginning. As you can see, while we were sleeping, he was working hard, representing the Katowice with his bebok attire, and even supervising us on the outside walks. So, uh, with the, oh, yeah, coming, coming. <laughs> with almost the entire extended organizing team, uh, I'd like to thank all of you for all your hard work during those uh, 20 hard months. And uh, yes, a note to all of the photographers from here. We do not have a single good picture from the opening ceremony, so now's the time. <laughs> and now everyone. Okay, thank you. Thank you. It was our pleasure. Wikimania 2024 is now over! Well, everything that has an end also has a beginning. And from this space, I would like to invite to the stage the Wikimedians of East Africa, who will be hosting Wikimania 2025 in Nairobi. Welcome them with a loud applause! <laughs> yes, from this point, uh, as this year's departing team, we understand how much hard work is in front of you, and we would like to pass you those symbols of Gdańsk from the first Wikimania in Poland and the guardians of this very room at this Wikimania. And we hope that Wikimania brings you and your community as much as the two Wikimanias have brought our region and our communities. Thank you. Good luck next year. Thank you. <laughs> I will leave you to it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. So, it's time to say Zinkuya Katowice. Natalia, I know you're proud of me right now. And say Karibu Nairobi. So, Karibu is how we say welcome in Swahili. And we are happy to host you in Nairobi next year. My name is Winnie Kabinti. I'm the co-founder of Wikimedia User Group in Kenya and the Wikimedia 2025 COT lead alongside my brother Anthony Mtavangu from Wikimedia Tanzania. And we say... <laughs> yeah, thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Anthony Mtavangu. I'm the co-founder of Wikimedia Community User Group Tanzania. Thank you. Great. So it's been quite the journey for us. 
and this team that you see here that I will introduce to you shortly. But we are extremely del delighted. It's been quite the journey, and I know it feels like we are just getting started, but we are proud of how far we've come. In Africa, we like to say it takes a village to raise a child, and we believe Wikimania has been that child that will be celebrating 20 years of its birthday in Nairobi. So allow me to allow the 2025 COT to have a quick introduction. Uh, my name is Michael Mawa from Kenya. Thank you. My name is Seri. Thank you. My name is Seri Boke from Kenya. Now has no name. My name is Alice Chibombo from Uganda. Bobby Shabangu from South Africa here, but very much part of uh, the co-organizing team. Yeah, my name is Geoffrey Katerega from Uganda. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm Alvin Atejeka. Of course, I'm from Uganda. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, everyone. It's Sebagala Douglas from the Wikimedia Community User Group in Uganda. So this will be the first time Wikimedia will be hosted in East Africa. And the third time, it will be hosted in Africa after Egypt and South Africa. Citation needed. But <laughs> we are happy that Wikimedia is coming to Nairobi. So um, what comes to your mind when you hear Kenya, Nairobi, anything? Giraffe. Giraffe. Of course. <laughs> and you know what's amazing about this picture? I know there are these jokes about a lot of wildlife in Africa, but this is actually amazing. So this, the background, that is not Photoshop. That is real, the city in the background. So this is the Nairobi National Park. It's one of the few cities that are located, one of the few parks in the world, <laughs> national parks that are located within the city. So you're inside the park, and it's so easy to spot the city behind it. So it's a, it's a real picture. You'll see it when you come. So um, one of the other things that you might not know about Nairobi, I had a few things, uh, safaris, and that's true. But one of the things that great attributes of Nairobi that you might know much about is that Nairobi is a very great technological hub. In fact, we even have a name the Silicon Savannah. And we are looking forward <laughs> for you to experience this and so much more. We actually remind